Hi, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the 11th and last video in the Electric Circuit series uh, where I'm going to do an NCA problem. And this one's from the 2016 paper. It's question one. So there is um, the circuit given to you. It looks like it's a, um, a car radio is modeled by the use of resistors. So there's three resistors in the circuit and they give us some values of them. Now, when I'm doing circuits, I like to do my electrical Sudoku, which I made in the previous video. So I'm just going to look ahead and see how many questions they ask about the circuit before I do it. If it's more than two, I'll probably just work out everything before I even look at the questions. Um, if it's less than two, I might just work out what they ask me. So it turns out, calculate the voltage over the radio receiver, the current passing through speaker A, compare the resistance to speaker B with speaker A. They've asked me to do a few things, so I'm just going to go through and calculate everything first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the circuit, I'll probably if I was in an exam, I'd redraw it on the last page, or if I've got enough room in the corner, I'd do it there. But probably the last page where I've got a whole page to work on it. Um, redraw it perfectly the same, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change it around so that it looks like um, the battery's at the top and all the components are at the bottom. And that looks like that. So I've got my battery at the top, 12 volts, my radio receiver, which is in series, all the electricity has to pass through it. I've put that down there, and then there's a parallel bit there with speaker A and speaker B. So now that I've got it like that, I can draw myself a um, IV diagram. So A and B are in parallel, so they go like that on top of each other, and um, the radio receiver is there by itself. All right, so I then draw my box um, and start filling in all the information I have. So I've already got the 12 volts total, um, the 0.3 amps total as well. They've given me speaker A's resistance and the radio receiver's resistance. So I'm going to put any information now onto the um, IV diagram. So I know the total, that's the width. I know the total current, um, that's the height there. Um, and it turns out that I could look at the radio receiver and it has the same height as the total. So it has the same total current. So now I can fill in that current for the radio receiver. Great. All right. Um, next, it looks like I've got two bits of information um, in this column here. When I have two bits of information I can use a formula. So if I use V equals IR and I'm doing it for the radio receiver so I label everything just so I know I'm using the right values and I want to find V so just 0.3 times 10 and that equals 3 volts. So I fill that in. Now I'm always going back and forth between um, the table here and the IV diagram filling out things and it gives me more information. So I've just been given 3 volts for um, the radio receiver, so I'll put that in there. Now I know the total width across here is 12, um, but this is 3, so then A must be um, A must be 9. So now I've got the value for A, and actually B is the same width as well, so I've got 9 volts there as well. Alright, so the next one I um, probably will work out this power, no I'm going to work out maybe um, speaker A, so V equals IR, um, I've got the 9 volts and the 80 ohms, rearrange it, and I get 9 volts divided by 80, um, which is 0.11. Put that value on. I'm not going to round it for now because I'm going to use the value a bit later. Um, now that I've got, I've put it on the IV diagram, I've got one of the heights here and another height. I can just find the difference to find the missing one. And 0.3 minus that 0.11 is a 0.818. Again, I haven't rounded. I'll just put the actual values in. And then I've got two bits of information here, so why don't I just go V equals IR again, rearrange it to find R, and put my numbers in, and we get 48 for that one. And then I'm going to do the same for my totals. So I've got enough information to do uh, a formula again, it gives me 40 ohms. Now that I've got three in the column, I can, well I only need the two, I can um, work out the power. So power is just VI, and I can just do it for every one. I'll make sure I use the right value. So for speaker A, I'll use the 9 volts and the 0.11. Do that, and I get that value. Speaker B, I get this value. And again, I'll use the same formula, but with different values. So for the radio receiver, 3 times 0.3 is 0.9. Now I can do a check um, and make sure the powers add up together. So that this 1.01, 1.68, uh, 1 1 and 0.9 add together. And when I do it on my calculator, it actually um, works out nicely. So I've got that right. All right, so I've got my whole table here, and now I've got my table, I can just put the answers in. So calculate the voltage across the radio receiver, radio receiver, voltage, I've got it, three volts. In the exam, because I've done all the work already, I would just write down, see working on the back page, where my working is, and the examiner can go and check that. 
The second one, this current through A, so look up A, there's the current, 0.11, got that. Again, C working on the back page. And C saying speaker B uses more power than speaker A. Um, I can see that, yes. Compare the resistance of B with speaker A. So um, I've got 48 versus 80, so I've just got to write that down. Speaker B has resistance 48, which is less than speaker A with 80, and C working on back page. Now, even though it says no calculations are required, I've obviously done a few calculations to get here. The other way you could do this if you weren't going to do all the calculations um, would be to write down your power formula, not the VI, but if you substitute in for I, your V squared over R. Um, a and B are in parallel, so they have the same voltage. We can see that here. And therefore, if one has a larger power, because it's an inverse relationship, it will have a smaller resistance. So B has a smaller value um, of resistance to have that larger power. So up to there, that, this was another merit question, um, and now we're on to this excellence. DI and DI2 is um, together as an excellence question. So I've got a new circuit now. 12 volt car battery is connected to a car headlight. It's rated 12 volts 60 watts. A normal bulb is 12 volts 60 watts. Carry out calculations to see which has the most current passing through it. So that's pretty easy. For the car, I've got the power formula rearranged to find I. Put my numbers in, I get 5 amps. The house do the same thing, put my numbers in, I get 0.25. Obviously the car has 5 amps is more. More current. That one's easy. Discuss how the brightness of the car's headlight compares to that of the normal household bulb. So, um, they're both 60 watt bulbs. Power is the measure of brightness, um, and they both have the same power, therefore they both have the same brightness. So that question with um, this question, together was the excellence.